Hey guys, we're here with uh, probably the world's biggest Steel Panther fan from Germany, um, Andrea Lower. You pronounce it Lower? Yeah, in Germany it's Lua. Lua. Okay. Because we have the O with the two dots over. Okay, so v yeah, and that's right. Yep. Vigate is dear. Very good, thank you. That's all I know in German. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, that that's that's good. Um, how far are you from your computer monitor? Oh, um, I can come. No, 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 I'm just wondering oh. how far, a foot or two feet? Oh, I don't know, in, in the US, um, in German, maybe one or two centimeter. Oh, so I'm very close. Okay. Shall I go back like this? Oh, it, it's okay. It's just that the government might, might be watching here in Canada. So we're, we have to do six feet. So I'm only about a foot from my monitor. So can you put on your mask? Yep. Yeah, I just don't want to get put in jail. Pretty serious here. <laughs> so anyway, so tell me a little bit about yourself, uh, uh, Andrea, before we start talking about the boys. Okay, um, well, I'm uh, working at the office. I'm an office clerk. Okay. And I, I studied uh, at the language school, oh. ISL, here in Germany. Yeah. So I studied English, um, Spanish, and French language. Oh, okay. So in Spanish, uh, como estas? <laughs> Muy bien, gracias. This isn't going to work. Screw this. Screw the government. We can get <laughs> them off. Uh, yeah. Um, so... Everybody knows Germany's uh, famous for uh, certain things, um, um, liberal views on views on sex. Um, <laughs> very much uh, known for your beer and your Oktoberfest. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. So uh, tell me a little bit about um, how you met the boys in Panther. Well, um, maybe it sounds weird, but I actually came to them because of classical music. No way. <laughs> yeah. How did that happen? Yeah, before I uh, came to Steel Panther, I was a very um, big fan of, I don't know if you know him, David Garrett. Have you heard of him? No. <laughs> no? He's a very famous violinist. Okay. And, uh, well, he was speaking of the guys. There's a band called Steel Panther, and uh, they're very funny, and they're just hilarious. You should yeah. check them out. And yeah, I was kind of curious and I thought, mm, why not give it a chance? And then I watched, I think she's typed the video clip. <laughs> or Boontay Boomerang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I saw them and I thought, oh my gosh, what's this? You know, and hearing Michael Starr's voice, yeah, I was very fascinated because I think his voice is amazing. Yes. Yeah. Every time you hear him at a specific song, even when he has a cameo in another band for a song, yes. you always recognize that's Michael Starr. Yes. He's you know, uh, the whole you, band. You uh, go ahead. I think his voice is just, yeah. And, the, the and it, it, totally, it totally hit me. And then the look from them, I mean, I like guys with long hair, actually, to be yeah. honest. Yeah, yeah. And from that moment, I don't know, I had to, to check them out and yeah. And then it came like Volcano and that was it. I was totally in love with them. And so you, you <laughs> how many times have you seen them play live? Six times. Six times. Has it always been in Germany or have you gone to other places in Europe or have you come to Italo Unidos or the States? No, I have them only seen here in Germany so far. Oh. Okay, so is it mostly at the Wacken festivals? And no, not the Wacken. Um, it was in Cologne. Okay. The weekend in Cologne. This was my last time, unfortunately, in November two thousand nineteen. Okay. And then in Saarbrücken, I was at the open air. Yeah. Uh, Oberhausen was my first time. Yeah. There, I had also VIP. Oh yeah. So I could I could meet them before the show? Wow. Yeah. So, so you take a picture with them and. You could be very close to them, so it was fantastic. The first, the first time that you met you met them, had they known about your fascination and the fact that you're probably their biggest fan? Did they know about you before? I know they know well, about you now. <laughs> and now they know about me, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah they know who I am. So yeah. I say hi to them if they see that. 
you know, Michael Starr is actually following me on Instagram and um, Twitter. Yeah. We are like very good friends. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they always recognize me because um, every time they come to a concert when I am there, I'm at the front row. Right. Always staying in the front row. Always. Yeah. 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 They ever bring you up on stage? Uh, well, yeah, when I was um, for 17 girls in a row or Glory Hole, I was on stage. Yeah. <laughs> I sang with um, Michael Starr together in yeah. Berlin. Okay. This was my second, second concert. But I'm still waiting for a girl from Oklahoma. So I hope next time oh, I see them, yes. they yes. pick me up. Yeah. So in case um, you know and I know um, what's happened recently with the band, but in case yeah. some guys had his head stuck in between some girl's breasts for the last six months and doesn't know, um, unfortunately, um, our bassist Lexi Fox has left the band. So I, that's... That's unfortunate. I think, wasn't he one of your favorites? Like, they're all your favorites, but... He was my favorite, actually. Yeah. What um, What made him your favorite out of all the band members? Was it his, um, the way he does his hair and you can get some makeup tips? I guess, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess the long hair and then always the, the makeup with the mirror was amazing. And yeah. Oh, I actually also did um, get him a mirror. In oh. Saarbrücken. Yeah, yeah, I, I got him a mirror. I made it by myself. And uh, he said to me, I'm using it the next time at the concert. And he was really using it. So I also have pictures of it where he's holding the mirror. Yeah. Isn't that made, insane? Made Crazy. So um, I know you're closer with the band than I am. I've uh, only, I've met them once and I've had yeah. Michael Starr do a, a video plug for me uh, one year before they played here. Um, actually, we live on the border with the United States, so they played on the other side of our border, and we played there, or they played there. Um, but I understand Lexi has some sexual um, misfunctions, and that's why he didn't play the show here in uh, Michigan a couple of years ago because he was um, in reha rehabilitation, and we understand. So and I remember feeling really bad because... Um, Satchel said, you know, Alexi's having some problems right now with his sexual addictions, but we hope when he comes out of rehab, he's a lot better at sex. Mm. <laughs> and so right now I'm wondering, do you know the reason that Alexi's decided to drop out? Is it a family issue thing or do you know anything of the reason? They said he makes uh, pets now prettier or dogs, dogs in general. He makes dogs now prettier. He wants oh. to do that. Oh, okay, yeah. so he's doing something like other than than music. He's uh, yeah, right. He wanted to uh, to uh, open his own pet shop, so he makes dogs look prettier. Yeah, yeah, and it's funny. Cool. It's hard to tell with the band if they're being serious or not. If that's just a, maybe he wants to spend time with family, right? You know, I mean, it could be things like that's what I thought originally. I thought, you know what, for him missing that one show in Michigan uh, or that tour. Um, I thought, okay, and then this, I thought, you know what, he's probably been thinking about it for a couple of years, you know, mm -hmm. that I thought it was family, but maybe he does want to make a poodle pretty. So, who knows? <laughs> I just hope, maybe, maybe he's coming back in a few years. I mean, that would be... I'm, yeah, I, I'm sure he'll miss being on stage and, you know, that kind of limelight, so he's going to mm -hmm. definitely do a lot of guest appearances, I'm sure. But in the meantime, I think it's going to be Spider that's filling in, you know? No, um, they are at the moment they are making some commissions for a new bass player. Oh, they have not decided yet, so we are still waiting. At the moment, there is someone who's playing bass. Yeah, I don't know if you have seen him. I have. Long... Is yeah. he got the long black hair? He kind of looks like Nikki Six from Motley Crue. Um, yeah, kind of. He has a shirt on. It's it's it says um, "fuck the new guy" <laughs> or "fuck the new bass player." <laughs> this is. Yeah, okay, so I, <laughs> I remember when, yeah, when he had his replacement here with Spider, and Spider was a friend mm -hmm. of theirs. Yeah. So, um, yeah, either and or they're going to make it. They just have to make sure that the guy that comes in has that same kind of dry sense of humor because that's what makes this band not people don't realize when they see them the first time they think they're you know vulgar and stuff, but they don't realize the musicianship and how talented they are, especially Russ or you know, uh, Satchel. Yeah. Just yeah. They're quality musicians all around. 
I just finished mm. watching um, Lexi Fox uh, from the garage, the Lexi Fox. Uh, mm. I thought yeah. that was hilarious. It's like an unplugged thing. It is. It is. I watch it. I can watch it all the time. Never get tired of it. It's so, fantastic. So yep. with, with um, in regards to your memorabilia, I, I, I see all your stuff on Instagram. Do you post something, Steel Panther, on Instagram almost every day? Mm, not every day, but every time I have something new or I have I thought about it. I have not showed it yet. Then, yeah. So I, saw I, mean, the one, I saw the one yesterday where you had the two eggs. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then, and what was what? What made up the um, the the uh, the other part? Was that like pancake mix or something? Like what made that up? The penis no, part. I actually. I saw it on the internet and I thought, oh my gosh, this is hilarious. Oh, I, okay. You just I you, need it and oh okay. Yeah. So you borrowed it. <laughs> I thought you, I thought you made those in your kitchen. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. So <laughs> as far as a collection, what do you have as a collection uh, of the band? Do you have a special room that you have all your collection in? Yes, uh, it's called uh, Andreas Panther Shack. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, th this is what the guys came up to, actually. I did not uh, say it. So it, they made a, a special shirt for the fans when they had the first live stream. Yeah. Um, the concert to save the world. And then on the back, it was uh, says Andreas Fantashack. And so Fan they meant my... Fan Fantashack or Fanta? Oh, and Pantashack. Oh, Pantashack. Okay, okay. Pantashack, yes. Because they saw my room, I took pictures and they, they said, oh my gosh, we have never seen something before. Uh, oh gosh, what do I have? Yeah, lots of posters and stuff. And I had the drum heads, signed yeah. drum heads from them. I have um, handwritten lyrics that were oh. from Lexi. Yeah. 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 Yep. Um, and what did they, like, besides that, what else personally have they given to you that you put in there, like, besides drumsticks, guitar picks? Are they giving you t-shirts and things like that? No, I got my, um, my West. I, I was wearing my um, jeans vest on the second concert. And they, they all signed it at the back. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, they all signed it. And I got um, on a postcard, Lexi was written, uh, thanks for all your support. Yeah, I think I saw that. Especially from Lexi. Yeah. yeah. So what do you think monetarily, I don't know, in euros or American dollars, even though we're in Canada, but, you know, Canadians, we're always second. <laughs> so um, in American dollars, what would you say you spent so, so, so far on your Steel Panther memorab memorabilia? How much? Yeah, roughly. Oh, my gosh. Ooh, I don't know, but I think there's, yeah, a lot, lot, a lot of money. I mean, I have so many t-shirts and stuff and yeah. custom, custom made um, shirts, especially also. Probably over, over, the world. over mm -hmm. a thousand, over a thousand dollars easily. Probably, thousands, yeah. thousands. I'm going to use that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Dollars. Yeah. Um, so how often do you, I've seen you've done some Skype videos or some Zoom videos with um, the boys. How often do you connect that way? Um, I had last year, they did um, a few times chat with fans. You could do that from the fan club. You know, oh. I'm a fanta. Yeah, yeah, we have a fan club. Okay. So your fanta has a fan club, you can join it. What's the address and, to that? Uh, uh, Panda rocks com. Okay. And then they have exclusive, and then you can join the fan club. You can read everything about it, how to join it, and... Yeah. Then that's um, probably a small fee that um, they donate to um, Lexi's rehab bills. <laughs> um, yeah, probably not. <laughs> but um, what goes with that is probably things like you know you get access to the to the VIP tickets before they go on sale, sort of thing. Exactly, exactly. You can buy tickets before they get uh, on sale for everyone. So you and you get exclusive stuff. Meet and greet and, and that. Yeah. And so did, so does that come with as we were getting at um you get a, a Zoom interview every once in a while with them? Is that with a, yeah. all the fans at once or is that exclusive? They'll pick you a time. No, you had you had your exclusive interview with them, you had a specific time, and then it was only the four guys and you. And then you also got a picture with them at the end. Wow. I've yeah. seen those, and those are interesting. I've seen uh, sticks with glasses. 
I never thought I would have seen sticks with glasses. I wear glasses, but I, I'm not wearing them now. But no, it's um, it's just amazing. Um, I, I don't remember. Actually, I think I found out about them through going through YouTube. And then they had this Steel Panther with this amazing guitar player, little kid. He was like six. They brought him on stage. Mm -hmm. And yeah. the father said, let him play. And so they let this little kid play. And that's mm -hmm. the first time I'd seen Steel Panther. And I thought, oh, they're just like a you know, a parody, not very popular band and this kid's playing. And then I got into a little bit more. And then once I started seeing stuff that was a little racy, I'm going to watch a little bit more. And then I realized <laughs> the guys are not only great songwriters, they, all their songs have the keys and they balance back and forth between um, 80s songs that we know. Like you'll hear a Bon Jovi sound in this song. You'll hear a White yeah. Snake sound in that song. Mm -hmm. but their mm -hmm. lyrics definitely, I mean, you don't bring a preacher to that show. No, it's amazing. When I first heard them, I was like, oh my gosh, are they really allowed to sing like that? Yeah. You know, because uh, normally it goes with just with one word, like shit or fuck. Yeah. And it yeah. says beep, beep. But no, <laughs> no, they could they could sing everything they want. And I think it was fantastic. If they, they um, it, so. if they were to do that, uh, you know, the... Uh, what is it? What's a beep beep called uh, when you do that? Um, well, I don't know, but what what you're saying, like instead of shit, it would be beep. If they were to do yeah. that for all their songs, it sounded like Morse code. It'd be beep 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 beep. Yeah, beep, yeah, yeah. Beep, it beep, would beep, be a censored censored version. But there's actually one of um, Dead to All But Metal. Yeah, the censored version where it goes all the time beep and like a fart you hear. And everything, yeah, with, yeah. yeah, yeah, it exists. And then also a censored version or different version of community property where Michael sings different songs. Yeah. Uh, not songs, but words. Yeah, yeah. No, that's, yeah. Um, they're, they're just amazing and they're, they're so funny. I think a lot of their uh, humor comes from Satchel. I really think Satchel is the, is the backbone. Yeah, yeah, Satchel is the main guy. He does. He's like the Steve Harris of Iron Maiden. He's the guy that brings it together. Uh, yeah. But then, you know, it, you can't do Steel Panther without the rest of the characters like like Lexi. He doesn't say much for the funny thing, but there's that one thing that they always do where um, they're talking about having sex with these women. And and when and then Lexi's like, and then we're not, they're not looking. We stick a blue pill in their drink. Shut up. Shut up, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's so funny. I um, always enjoy it. So. So you've met them uh, a few times, you've talked to them a few times, and do you correspond on a semi-regular basis with uh, many of them, like via text, uh, Instagram, uh, Facebook? Yep. Okay. When's the, last and, uh, when's the last time you talked to one of the boys? Uh, Michael sent me a birthday message a few days ago. So he's saying happy birthday. He's saying uh, happy birthday to me and... Oh, yeah. I think I saw that. Didn't um, didn't Satchel do one of those two a couple of years ago or something? I thought I saw yeah, Satchel. He also, he also did. Yeah, yeah. Over Cameo, he wrote a special song just for me. And it was wow. also amazing. Yeah, so, they, uh, they, Sticks, Satchel, and Michael, they also have a Cameo account where you can get your own personal message from them. Cameo account? How do, they, how do you get a hold of that for the viewers? Uh, well, just go to www.cameo.com. Oh. And then, yeah, yeah, and then type their name and you can find them and then you can get your own. I didn't realize you're telling me things I don't know. See, I'm living in a, we live in a third world country here in Canada. We're known for <laughs> hockey, snow, and being the second most tyrannical, uh, having the second most tyrannical government right now, right behind Australia. <laughs> because it's, yeah, it, go ahead. It's also nice to hear about Canada. I've never been there, so. Oh, we have the same climate as Germany in a lot of ways because mm -hmm. we are the the uh, world's, um, I think we're the largest or the second largest country in the world by land. So we have mm -hmm. a lot of time zones, but no, there's a heavy German influence here in Canada. After the war, a lot of Germans uh, immigrated to Canada. So um, yeah, so we, we do have a kind of the same climate. We got the four seasons. We got you know the, the the winter, summer, spring, and fall. Whereas and people are saying, "What are you saying that for, idiot?" No, it's because some countries, like in the United States, they've got those too. But if you're in the southern U.S., they don't. You got Florida, Texas, Arizona, Southern California. They really have just one season of heat. So yeah, we do have a lot in common. 
Um, are you a hockey fan? No, 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 no sports, no sports, no. Oh God, Andrea, <laughs> I'm just joking. So no sports. No, I mean I do sports, but I don't watch sports. Okay, well, yeah, watching is yeah, boring, yeah. but doing is better, right? Okay. Um, no, but so when is the next uh, Panther um, tour going to be hitting Europe? Have you found that out? Is there any? Yes, I'm actually waiting for the next concert since 2020 now. Yeah. So, I have tickets from 2020 and they moved them to uh, 2022 now. Okay, so in the summer? Yeah, summertime. Okay, and is that going to be where you are? Where are you, are you near um, Cologne? Uh, no, they will be coming to uh, Wiesbaden, Oberhausen, uh, Saarbrücken, also Munich. I know of Munich. Um, <laughs> hmm? I said, I know of Munich. The other three country, cities I don't know of, they're smaller. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, Wiesbaden and Saarbrücken is closer to me. Okay, where, where are you? Uh, I'm one hour from Cologne. Okay, what's so, your town okay. called? What's My your town? Uh, Weissenturm. Oh! I don't know nothing about Bison Tour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean it's it's a small town, so okay. So yeah. so you work in an office. Um, I've seen on Instagram that you you're like a little celebrity in some ways. I, I see a picture of you with another. Was it a musician or something? Like, are you? I don't know. There's some guy in a park, and they had cameras taking pictures of you guys. Okay. Yeah, it was some it was some gentleman. And there was about four cameras taking pictures. And then somebody said on your Instagram, how do you know him or something? So you don't remember that? No, not really. Maybe, it was, not maybe it was the day after a Steel Panther show. <laughs> could be, yeah, could be. I don't know what, you, what you're talking about now. Yeah, there, so, like, if you go, I'll, I'll send you the picture. But yeah, you're, okay. you're, you're, you have, they have <laughs> movie cameras or TV cameras like it's the news. Mm -hmm. you're standing there with another guy and mm -hmm. it's like you look like two celebrities so i thought well maybe yeah well interesting interesting so <laughs> um i see your backyard you do a lot of your pictures and your stuff in your backyard it's kind of a, a you have a big garden that sort of thing yeah 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 also have a big garden and there's a steel panther flag also there's a panther flag yeah are you able to show us that are you is your phone yeah. on a tripod right now no not really let let me let me see i don't think i have a picture left but it's posted on instagram so okay well maybe a lot of my viewers are a lot of my viewers are lazy canadians they won't look so they just want to see okay okay i still have my birthday message from michael here mm. yeah i'll definitely put that up in the article in the in the um the interview for sure. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. I don't have to. Okay. No, no, that's okay. We'll, we'll get it up there later. So, um, so yeah, so just trying to think of what else. So what's your favorite Steel Panther, um, album and songs? I, I know there's so many. Yeah, that's a good question, but uh, favorite song. Whew. I mean, I have my ringtone is actually if you really, really love me. That's oh, my yeah. ringtone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I would not say that's my favorite song. Maybe Community Property or Eyes of a Panther. Yeah, yeah. But I don't really have a favorite song because I think every song is just unique. Yeah, yeah. I like <laughs> uh, 17 Girls and I also like um, Tiger Woods. Hmm. I just think yeah, the lyrics. The lyrics Falls are out is a great album. Yeah. Uh, um, before I let you go, I was just thinking here. Um, is there anything you want to? Oh no! Here's the question. Here, um, have you turned on a lot of people to Steel Panther since they since you became a fan? Um. Well, I mean, I met a lot. Of, hmm? I mean, have you, like, say some of your friends in music and you're like, I'm going to go to a Steel Panther concert tonight. You want to come? Who's Steel Panther? Like, have you got a lot of people saying, wow, these guys are great. Thank you, Andrea. 
Yeah, I mean, here in Germany, they are not so famous. There are a lot of people, not a lot of people, they don't know who it is. But I met wonderful people at the concert here in Germany. Mm -hmm. And we meet every time there. So it's like a little family every time we come together. And it's very much fun. And we always stand in the front row together. Everyone's keeping space for the, the other one. And yeah, it's so like a family. Oh, that's, that's just great. Well, yeah. I'd like to thank you for your time. I know that it's uh, it's about 6.30 in uh, Zerglubsen, where you are. I don't know how to pronounce that, that's, it. That's okay. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. No, I'm just saying it's 6.30, so I can let you go. I was going to put up a little okay. bit of a Panther thing here. And make sure, because you're, you're more connected to them than I am. I don't really have a connection. <laughs> um other than you know, try again to get another interview, but um, make sure you let the boys know so they see this video. Oh yeah, I will, I will. And uh, I'll end it off with this. Okay. Then thank you very much for having me. Thank you, oh, I have it wrong. Can you see that? Yep. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, well, thank you from Canada. I appreciate it, Andrea. And You're welcome. We'll, we'll see you very soon and uh, keep rocking. Yeah, I will. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.